Hey, what's going on, people? Family? This is another episode. This is another Pay Me No Mind video. Actually, this video speaks perfectly to what Pay Me No Mind is all about. When I came up with that title two or three years ago. Um, the new podcast was supposed to be up today. This A new Pay Me No Mind podcast was supposed to be going up either today or last night. But I was working through some audio stuff and just got it figured out. And a lot of the stuff that I was getting ready to talk about, or some of the topics are no longer relevant. As you know, we only get about 24 hours, 48 hours. The window is only about that big. So maybe next week. I did get the problems resolved. And hopefully, you know, depending on what happens this weekend, you know, maybe I'll do a Pay Me No Mind podcast um, this weekend. Boxing, I had some stuff. I didn't get my Bite Down Boxing podcast up either this weekend or this week because I just figured out my audio problems last night with the help of a partner of mine. So I'm getting ready. And then I was going to a fight today, but I won't go into that right now. But that's not happening. Back to Pay Me No Mind. I get a text today. I get an instant message because... The Carter Five dropped by Lil Wayne or Lil Wayne. And a lot of people that like Lil Wayne, Young Money and all of that stuff, a lot of people that like that and think he's an excellent rapper, top five, greatest of all time, so on and so forth, they were elated. Great. I could care less, to be honest. I had I had no discomfort because the Carter Five had not, hadn't arrived while I'm aware of some of the issues with him and um, Baby and label stuff, I, I'm familiar with that. But I had no, I was living my life, you know, totally ignorant to the impact or potential impact of this project. So I'm minding my own business trying to get my little outing together for the weekend. And uh, Lil Wayne, oh, so the, the album drops and I'm seeing different things on social media. Cool. I'm glad people are happy. I'm glad his following is happy. And I wasn't even, I didn't have no intentions of saying anything about this, but I get a text, I get an instant message and somebody, a family member, relative, sends me a link. They took the time, took the time to send me a link of one of the songs off of the album. Talking about this is a dope song. This is for you. I can't open it up because I'm recording this with my phone. But it was something like, "This is this is a song for you." I wonder if this was like a group message, and maybe it wasn't really directed at me. If you know what my taste in music is, but it said, "Um, you know, this is this is a dope song. Check it out." First of all, the name of the song is "Dope Niggas." Okay. Original. It's 2018. Dope. That's the title. Featuring Snoop Dogg. Wow. I, I couldn't be more disappointed and turned off and dis disinterested. So I get bored. I'm trying. I can't get my audio stuff together. I get bored. I get a minute. I'm like, let me listen to this. How is it dope? How could how could this combination possibly be dope? By the definitions of dope that I'm familiar with. So I check it out. And this is what's just killing me. With us. With today's world. Let's look at Snoop's course. Snoop says. Comes in and says. I get money. I'm a hustler. So if you buying what I'm selling. You a customer. See, I can get it to you anywhere, anything, but it's point blank range when the pistol bang. I mix it up. I fix it up. The same stuff he's been rapping for 20 years, 22 years now, uh, 25 years. But it's point blank range when the pistol bang. I mix it up. I fix it up and I switched it up. He hasn't really, but I locked down this end and I got it twisted up. See, I'm a dog, but I loke with my lokes. They say you are what you smoke. 
The funny thing is the dichotomy here is that he's being so honest with us because he says I get money and I'm a hustler. But we're confusing hustler here with hustling on the streets or I'm hustling, you know, I'm grinding at my hustle, you know, whatever I'm trying to get going or, you know, street hustling. But he says I'm a hustler and he truly is. Because this is a man that gets checks for hosting a card show on television. He has a cooking show with Martha Stewart. So he says, I get money and I'm a hustler. So I'm going to check it out. I, I didn't even know it. I mean, I know the man been around forever. Shout out to that, that gospel award that he, he hustled. And I don't even dislike Calvin Bratis or Snoop Dogg. I don't. But somebody pissed me off by sending me this trash. So um, I go look at it. Snoop's net worth is like $120 million. <laughs> $120 million. He's 46 years old. Wow. See, I can get it to you anywhere, anything, but it's point blank range when the pistol bang. This is just, this is, and I'm, I'm mad because I just got done watching the breakdown of the company man, Cat Justin Hunt. I just got done watching a video of him reviewing uh, or defending his reasoning that uh, J. Cole uh, that KOD is the album, is the most important album, album of the year. Check that YouTube video. I, I thought it was pretty slick. But, you know, we constantly have to defend J. Cole as being boring, is what is, is said a lot of times about him in the public. But um, we got to defend J. Cole for making an album encouraging people to do something about your demons and drug usage. But we got to defend him. But this trash right here, it's a man that's, that's, that's the host of a card game show where he wears a smoking jacket. And then laughing on set, peaceful days, no threat to his life, no harm, no stress, making dishes with uh, Martha Stewart. But this is, this is the, the music that he makes. So, what I just thought, what if I send somebody, I don't even have anybody to send the music that I like to, but what if I send somebody uh, 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 the, the link to Fonte's Expensive Jeans, which was talking about how uh, the different ailments that plague African Americans or black people, you know, for uh, hypertension, uh, high cholesterol, Diabetes. It's expensive genes, but it's G-E-N-E-S instead of, uh, you know, genes. But I don't even know what the hot genes are right now because I'm not into that stuff. But what if I send somebody that? What if I send somebody a link to uh, Black Thoughts, a uh, stream of thought that just came out? The opening joint on there is like 215 or something with all kind of wordplay, lyrics, messages, uh uh, what you call it? Uh, I can't even think of the words. Um, entendre, double entendres. What if I sent that? What if I sent somebody a link to um, Royce the Five Nines album that just came out, The Book of Ryan? Um, some of the cuts on there with him talking about uh, being sober. How he couldn't get his career together until he left, uh, you know, alcohol alone and drugs, I suppose. But I don't have anybody that would even care to even listen to any of that stuff. But I got to listen to a grown man, 46 years old, hosting a, t a card show on TV, TBS, and then doing a show with, uh, with uh, Martha Stewart. And I got to listen to him rapping about, I get money, I'm a hustler. So if you buying what I'm selling, you a customer. And I guess that's my whole problem with pay, it would pay me no mind and part of what I was doing with my podcast. How many years are you going to be a customer buying whatever all of these people put out in front of you 
whatever they're selling to you. So I'm going to get on out of here, man. Like I said, I was going to a fight tonight supporting a, a regional club card, but I didn't get some word back on that. And I told y'all, if you follow me on Twitter, at, e, at, e, uh, at capital E underscore pluribus underscore wood, um, I told you a couple months, uh, a couple weeks ago when I drove down to Louisville to support some local, some Ohio boxers, uh, Michigan boxers, and I was turned away at the door. And it was kind of, you know, it was me being um, ambitious, you know, but I got turned away or buy a $50 ticket. And uh, afterwards, I couldn't even find an article or any write up on any of the fights that that went down. So, you know, that's kind of why I'm involved is to try to get the word out there on people that are these fighters, you know, so that they're following their friends and family that can't travel to see them. So that somebody knows why they make the sacrifices they make. But anyway, I'm wishing my man Jeff Camp luck in a couple of hours as he goes for this uh, his title. And then um, it was a it was a women's fight on there that I was gonna put a, put together a story for uh, my man over at womenofboxing.com. And uh, you know none of that's happening. So uh, I guess I will watch Jorge Linares on Facebook Watch, and maybe you should. And uh, maybe later on tonight, I might break down last night's uh, Devin Haney fight and some things that I had to talk about there. So anyway, have a great weekend. Thanks for checking out the Pay Me No Mind channel. This is just kind of a senseless uh, rant, I guess. But uh, please, don't send me anything that you deem as hip-hop or rap your favorite stuff because I really don't like commercial uh, music. But anyway, back to being a customer of something. I'm out. Peace.